realize that you are standing here in my blacksmith shop. Here is where I forge weapons for battle. Of course, why are you speaking so bluntly? This is a medieval blacksmith. That means that we don't speak in those terms. Oh my god. You, you just don't get it, do you? Look, hang on. Okay, I'm out of character now. Okay, so that means when I'm in character, you have to be in character as well, okay? Yeah, so let's try that one again. Right. Right. You're in the blacksmith. Welcome to my medieval blacksmith where I forge your weapons ready for battle. Are you looking for a weapon ready for battle? You've come to the right place. Now I have a great selection of weapons which I can give thou should you be able to wield weapons in which I make enlaced with magic infused with the best materials and of course with my expertise as a blacksmith that I have created the very best weapons which you can relinquish your enemies on the battlefield and slay all of your enemies so here I can forge you whatever weapon you want that you could think of Are you kidding me? You really are that stupid, aren't you? Yeah, no, okay, I'm gonna come out of character again, okay? <laughs> A medieval battlefield, okay? Medieval. Not a machine gun. Medieval weapon, okay? Right, okay, let's get back into character, okay? You've, you've got this one, I'm pretty sure you can't be that stupid, you've got this, okay? Here's where I forge weapons for a medieval battle where we can fight medieval enemies in our medieval attire. Okay, it is the Middle Ages where weaponry is at the forefront in terms of swords, bows, arrows, daggers, spears. You know, weaponry like that is at the forefront of military battle. Okay, yeah. So that means you will be wanting to select, will you not, a weapon to fight with. Good, you've come to the right place. I'm just finishing forging this sword. I'm 
I'm sure you've got a lot of character. Don't tell me just yet, okay? You can tell me when we go back into LARP world, okay? Right, so any other questions? Okay, back in the LARP world, for which we are not in right yet, one would consider you a simpleton, okay? So we're going to enter back into LARP world, keep with LARP terminology for the time period we have chosen, okay? And if you can just manage to keep within that frame of mind, okay, for LARPing, nothing else, okay? Use your brain and then we can proceed. Can you do that? Great, okay. Here we go again. Another weapon finished. This is a single-handed sword which I have just forged, but this particular sword can be used for dual hand purposes. Perfect on the battlefield and perfectly balanced here as well. You have the right weight here to vanquish all enemies, trolls, orcs, even dark wizards. Yes, I can make you a suitable weapon for you to wield and take on the battlefield. I can forge anything that your mind desires. Good, you are looking for swords. Well, we're off to a good start. What is their name? Hmm. And is there a particular type of sword? that you are interested in. Okay, and any other weaponry? I can forge you those two. Axes, yes. Knives, yes. Daggers, yes. And what is your choice of a primary weapon? Two-handed sword. That can be forged here too. I have got skilled fingers. And I can make that for you, but of course, we require coin. What currency do we take? Are you, oh my god, are you kidding me? Seriously, are you kidding me? Do you really think that we're exchanging real money now? Okay, I've got it right, I'm not in that character anymore, okay? We're not, we're not playing this lob at the moment, okay? Are you listening to me? Okay, so, you okay, are going to purchase the weapons, okay, with gems, and gold, and silver, okay, it was very explicitly explained to you when you arrived here, hence that you're all in your LARP attire, okay, you've got your tunic, you've got your gambeson coat there as well, okay, you're looking really good, right, and I notice you have a pouch there as well, in that pouch, will contain gems, silver, and gold, okay? The currency in which we exchange in order to live out our lob world, okay? On the days that we choose to go to battle. Right, okay, so that means when I ask for currency, that doesn't mean that you pick real life currency, okay? Just, just don't do that again, all right? Is, is that quite clear? Okay, and please just let me know when a stupid thought arises, okay? Either suppress it, okay? It's very simple. Suppress the thought. If you're uncertain, suppress it, because it probably is another stupid thought. But if you are completely unsure, then just subtly hint at things and don't just come out and just ruin the world. Think of ways you can integrate it in a LARP sentence as opposed to a real life one for which we are trying to avoid and sink ourselves into mentally okay in this blacksmith's forge here okay right so is that simple are we going to slip out of character anymore can i expect any more stupid comments from you right i'm a blacksmith okay you are a simpleton okay a simpleton a peasant or a peasant warrior, 
okay? And I can turn you into uh, a knight warrior, okay? Right. I think we're there now, okay? So in real life, we're not friends and we're far from it. In fact, I detest every part of you because you are just so annoying. But in the LARPing world, okay, we're going to become friends. I'm going to become your blacksmith and make you the most awesome weapons for which you are going to trade your gems and coins with me for exchange for these excellent weapons which I'm going to make for you. No, don't look over there. The weapons haven't been made yet, okay? Yeah, no, I see you staring at them, but they haven't been made, okay? Get my drift. I'm going to make them for you in this forge here, okay? Okay, so that means you can sink yourself in the world, relax and enjoy it, okay? I'm the blacksmith. You are the peasant. Perfect, I think we're there, so... Shall we continue? Great. Right. So you've got coin. You've got gems. Well, gems are, of course, more worthy than and worth more than coins, so perhaps we can make it some sort of trade for your gems for weaponry instead of coin. Well, I notice you have a big bag there, so how about that? I just take that from you there and see how much you've got in here. Oh, you don't appear to have that much coin here, so you have a lot of silver, but you have some gold here too, and your gems, these precious stones, where did you get them? You found them at the tavern, and did someone drop them? Well, that is a good find, and certainly we can trade this for you, for weaponry. Right, so I think I can take all of that coin for you, but I'm going to make you the best of weapons. Okay, so how about the first weapon? We will try a sort of knife, uh, but an elongated dagger. It's a single-handed sword, but this, if you find yourself in a tricky situation, I think will benefit you greatly. Let me forge that for you right now. Battle. 
of your main sword. Right. There is a weapon for you. Now does that feel? Perhaps you'd like to swing it around. I think you will slay many orcs with that sword. I think so. Great. So, you said you liked axes. one of the 
best fighters on the battlefield. People will fear you with an elvish sword, so that is why it's being given to you. Three weapons on there, though I think we can do something even better for you. Something to help you, because I feel like there is greatness within you, though a sword will help bring forth that greatness. Let me forge you something now. for one second I'm just going to say that you are doing actually incredibly well at this lobbing thing so far okay but yeah I mean I know it's a load of nonsense okay but we are in the lobbing world so when you're in it it's not nonsense it's real life okay so remember to try and separate them when we come out of the LARPing world. Then of course you want to make sure that you don't reference things because people might think you're just a little bit strange. Okay, reference things like, I don't know, gems or battlefield and orcs and wizards and elves and things like that. Okay, just remember this is sort of playing a world, okay? And when you leave this world, okay, you can't just go around walking with your swords and attacking random people. I just have to add that little disclaimer in there because I just feel like someone like you probably would go and just throw that axe at someone or something like that and they'll just think you're very strange, okay? Or just maybe walk around in public with all of those foam weapons on you, okay? Okay, so, but so far you're doing so great at this right? For a simpleton, you're doing exceptional. Okay, so we're gonna end back into the lob world. Okay, so let me just step in there. Let me finish creating your sword for you. May I present to you the king's sword. This is fashioned on a crusader sword. The pommel at the end here is rounded to signify nobility. As long as you wield this sword, you will be protected. Your noble status will ensure that people know of your skill on the battlefield. Further up the sword, we have the finest of leathers and wrapped around it is sacred leather. Only something a noble person would have on their sword. This leather will ensure that when you are fighting with it, you will always find yourself in perfect grip with this sword. The cross guard is curved, just like a crusader inspired sword. This will signify always a forward motion as well as protective as well for your arms. This sword of yours can be doubled up as a single-handed sword, as well as a double or one and a half-handed sword for heavier strokes. You can hold it thusly at your other hand on there, and this sword becomes a lethal weapon, two-handed sword for you to take on those with broad swords and larger swords and large spears and axes. This sword will find it will be protecting you as well as helping you attack your foes as well. This is a special blade which has been forged here in our smithy and this has been enlaced with a fine gold there to notice the sheen on it. That is because this is a wealthy knight's sword and these swords will bestow upon you greatness and give you the ability to conquer and lead. So take 
this sword with you to battle and it will bring you the best of fortune. Remember, swinging techniques are very important with these swords. Always attack from above, never attack from below. Utilize the weight of the pommel and bring it down to slay the orcs or slay the elves or all of your foes. This sword will bring you the best of fortune. And as you can hear from the steel here, this very metallic sound, that this is the best materials that we have used for your sword because it's going to bring you greatness. So this very wealthy sword has been forged here for you. Take it. It feels amazing, doesn't it? Swing it around left and right. Let me see you use it. And now put it in your sheath there. Perfect. Well, you have four weapons on you already. And you look great and like a warrior. But I can forge you one more thing. But first, I think I will need more coin or gems. Hast thou spendeth all of thou's money? Well then how do you expect me to forge you one last weapon to take on the battlefield? Ah, thou can giveth alone. So, what will it be? For this particular weapon that I can forge you, I can imagine that it's going to be worth a lot of gems, so I'll probably require four gems with interest of a fifth, okay? And I will lend you these five gems here, okay? And now you will give me those five gems, okay? Take it out of your pouch there. In fact, I'll just take all of your pouch, okay? And your gems. sufficient. I can forge you your final weapon. This is what I have forged you. Every warrior who fights on the battlefield will know that you will need a heavy weapon, something that will inflict instant damage and defeat your enemies both with weight, surprise and shock. This is a double-handed heavy battle axe. This axe will bring fear to your enemies, made with silver steel knowing that you've got one of the best materials infused in your axe with gold emblems on both sides to show your nobility as well as, of course, made with oak for the ultimate weapon, which I think is going to serve a great purpose for you. You can hear this wood is the very best of wood which has been added with some grip here for you with the leather as well as the silver here in this very very sharp axe so you might find yourself on the battlefield bearing down on someone with a spear or a long sword 
that is the time that you take out your axe from behind it, grab it, and hit it. your enemy as quickly as possible. Shock and fear is what you bring to enemies with an axe like this, so make sure that you use it sparingly. This has been infused with magic too, to make sure that you are always protected. You have got your magic protection for the front of you, your sides, and now you have it on your back with this axe. Potions won't be able to hit you at all. Maybe you will find yourself strolling merrily on the battlefield with this axe. That means your confidence will be shown for your enemy. That means your skill will be infused in this axe when you take it on the battle. Please, let me see you hold it. It is a very heavy axe. Oh my god, yeah. I know it's not heavy. It's foam, okay? Yeah. Lob, we're thinking. Okay, lob. Okay. Right, let's slip back into the world. Now let me see you swing that heavy axe. Well, you have turned yourself into a worthy warrior. My work here isn't finished. You have selected short swords, axes, a small axe, a battle axe, and a kingly sword. Your enemies will be vanquished with ease on the battlefield, and your skill will inflict damage on all of your foes. No doubt your noble quest will be notified by all of us here who will be joining you on the battle. But remember, I am favorable with the king on the battlefield, Lord Farquhar. All hail Lord Farquhar. He will decide who will be placed and positioned at the front lines. I'm hoping it will be myself. As a blacksmith, I have access to as many weapons as I like. So I have chosen one of our knightly swords here to defend my back. But my main sword here, a sword of kings. This is what I'll be taking on the battlefield to ensure that if, even if the enemy and the foes and the orcs and the wizards and the elves and all those who will be facing us down on the battlefield will be carrying large and heavy weapons, I can be protected with my sword at a great distance. Your swords, however, are quite short, so you might struggle with that a little bit, but my sword will ensure protection and victory on the battlefield. Your weapons are all rubbish, so I don't think you'll last more than five seconds on the battlefield, but we will fight gallantly in your name and in your honor. So can I forge you any more weapons? Well, you haven't got any coin or gems, so I'm afraid I cannot forge you any more weapons. Do you hear that? It is time for battle. It is the horn summoning us all to the battlefield to fight with Lord Farquaad. Take your weapons and let's get out there. Take care of yourself, Jurium.